The concepts of specificity and sensitivity are very important for animal scientists to understand because if you're doing any kinds of diagnostic tests, you know, does the animal have the disease or doesn't, then understanding the specificity and sensitivity of the test is critical for you to uh, start making some clinical decisions. So let's start. The specificity of a test is basically its ability to avoid making type 1 errors or false positives. So if you don't have the disease, but <clears throat> it turns out that the test says you do, that would be an example of poor specificity, making a type 1 error. The sensitivity of a test is its ability to avoid making type 2 errors or making false negatives. So if you do have the disease, you take the test, and it says you don't have the disease, that test would have low sensitivity. Now we actually calculate sensitivities and specificities. And the way you do it, it's, they're both percentages from zero to 100%, with higher percentages meaning the test is either more sensitive or more specific. And essentially the specificity is equal to the number of true negatives. So the test being negative when you don't have the disease, for example, and the sensitivity is equal to the percentage of true positives. So the test is positive when you do have the disease. Let's go through some examples. So here's a made up example to illustrate the concepts. Do you have gravity assisted concrete poisoning? Well, let's say there's a test to find out. A test with low specificity would diagnose lots of people with gravity-assisted concrete poisoning who do not actually have it. In other words, this test would be committing a lot of type 1 errors, false positives. Now, if you had a test with low sensitivity, then it would tell many people who do have gravity-assisted concrete poisoning that they don't actually have it. In other words, the test would be committing many different type 2 errors. So here's an actual real world example of specificity and sensitivity of a rapid antigen test, the Abbott Penn Bio antigen test in pediatric patients. And, you know, we're focusing on pediatric patients here, children or toddlers or babies, because, you know, the rapid antigen test requires something to go up your nose, that little thing to go up your nose and collect the sample, that swab. And children don't take too kindly to that. They're going to fight you. They're not. They're going to cry. They're going to scream. They don't want that thing up their nose. And so it's harder to get a good sample from children, pediatric patients. So that's why they did this study. And they found that the sensitivity and specificity was 45.4% and 99.8% respectively. All right, so what does that mean? It means that 54.6% of the time, we're going to get a type 2 error. Um, that basically, that a, a child is positive, they have COVID. The test should read positive, but the test reads negative. So over half the time, children who are positive are going to actually test negative uh, on this rapid antigen test. So not, not great at detecting positive kids, but specificity very high specificity, only 0.2% of the time will we get a false positive, commit a type 1 error, because there's only a 0.2% of if the, if the test reads positive that the child is actually negative. And that's very high specificity means that if you test positive from this test, it's very likely that you do have COVID, but it's not guaranteed because oh, more than half the time, positive children will not test positive on this test. So wrapping up this very short video, uh, what do I want you to take away? You need to be able to define sensitivity and specificity, specificity and sensitivity. You don't have to pronounce them properly, but you have to define them properly. And you have to understand which one re relates to type one versus type two errors. You also have to be able to take information like what was provided to you in the last example and be able to interpret them. So, you know, what does a specificity of 46.8% mean? Okay, you have to be able to do that like in the last example.